On the way back from airport, we were having a hearty laugh. Sayan mocked Priya. I still remember the worried look on your face. Priya mocked me. Her shawl was of real good use, right? Rahul mocked Vijesh. Hey guys, remember how he walked like a toddler who had just learned to walk? We laughed at how we had attended a marriage and come back without catching anybody. Fellow Toastmasters, good afternoon. Good afternoon. A trip to attend a friend's marriage was like attending a marriage at the time of Anandalia. Let me saw you. Let me explain. The six of us had planned to attend our dear friend Deepak's wedding last year. Tickets were booked four months in advance. Excitement was at its peak. On a Thursday afternoon, when we had to start from Bangalore, our friend Anand fell sick and couldn't join us. We were heartbroken, but luckily, it was just a viral fever and not a media. But definitely a heads up to us to be more careful about our health for the trip onward. So the five of us landed in Delhi that night. The wedding was on Saturday and Sunday. So we had the entire Friday to ourselves. We had plans to visit the major star attractions of Delhi, which included historically significant sites and gastronomically significant eat -outs. <laughs> The next day, we had sumptuous parathas in Paratewale Gali at Chandni Chowk, and yummy delicious and heavy <coughs> lunch at Kareem's, a must-visit place for non-vegetarian food. We visited spectacular sites like the Lotus Temple, Jama Masjid. We experienced the grandeur of the Delhi Metro and the simplicity of cycle rickshaws. All this while, we gulped glass after glass of sugarcane juice, mint lime juice, and all sorts of juices available on the roadside because of the scorching heat. In the evening, we reached the most awaited and another must-visit place called Machana. Oops, did I just say that? When we reached this place, we couldn't take our eyes off the splendid structure that lay ahead of us. The huge expanse of land, the colossal temple with beautiful carvings standing in the center, surrounded by lavish green park, small water bodies, and a parking lot the size of a football stadium took us by off. We went further only to be amazed even more at the stupendous architecture, the enchanting and world-class musical fountain and laser show, <coughs> and the peace and serenity inside. Suddenly, Vijesh complained of stomach ache. We made him sit on the bench. We gave him some water. But he looked uncomfortable. In a few seconds, he threw up all that he had had since that morning. He became listless and fell unconscious on the bench. His wife Priya panicked. Sayad gloomily said, Yesterday Anu fell sick and today Vijesh. This trip is changed. The evening had started to become weak. An ill person lying there, hundreds and thousands of mosquitoes all over him and hovering above our heads. I sprung into action, took my shawl and started waving away the mosquitoes continuously as Rahul went to get some glucose for him. Friends, we had several scares, fears at that time. First, we did not know what all the roadside food and drinks had done to us since morning. Second, these mosquitoes were about to lift off Vijesh and take him off. <laughs> and third, we were all going to catch malaria. 
So with immediate effect, we ran out of that place, catching hold of Vijesh because he couldn't stand by himself. From that day on, a famous place called Akshadham is etched in our memories as Machamba. The next morning, we had a train to Gwalior, where the wedding was actually happening. All we needed was some sleep, which we tried to do in the train. But it looked like the mosquitoes had followed us all the way to the railways. <laughs> Luckily, when I was shopping for essentials before the trip, a greenish blue tube had caught my attention. They say you attract the right things at the right time. Can you guess what I had attracted? Odomos. <laughs> so we lavishly applied this greenish blue liquid over ourselves on the exposed areas, leaving aside our faces. And for the faces came in handy my shawl. Yes, the same shawl that had protected Vijesh at Machaka. Like a big blanket, we <coughs> all of us kept it on our faces and tried to see. But we were still here. <coughs> we landed that afternoon at Gwalior, at the wedding venue, all in one piece without the wedding. We attended the wedding, still harboring the scare. We kept checking each other for our temperatures, with summer afternoon heat only adding to our confusion. Nevertheless, nothing could stop us from hogging this yummy, Marriage food. We ate like we had never seen food before, <laughs> which included 12 varieties of sweets. That night we caught the train back to Delhi and the early morning flight to Bangalore. On the way back from airport, we had fun, laughter time. Sayyid mocked Priya, Priya mocked me, Rahul mocked Vijesh. We reminisced the three and a half days that we had. Good friends, difficult times, but...